like a reverse raccoon. I look like a reverse raccoon. Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ohem Albonsu and today we are here with another episode of The Perfect Foundation and we are looking at a foundation that did not make or that has not made quite as much noise as I thought it would because of the reception that the first set of foundation got and also because people absolutely, absolutely just love their concealers. So if you want to see what foundation I'm talking about, then keep on watching. Hi guys, welcome back. So I am talking about the brand new LA Girl Pro Matte HD Long Wearing Matte Foundation. Okay, and the way I found out about this this foundation is that I saw it on Dupe That's Insta Stories. They sent her a PR package with like a range of their foundations and I thought, oh my God, I have to try this because their first foundations, their first foundations were um, like a dewy foundation and I tried it and I actually have the link to that video in my description box. I will also link it up here somewhere, but I tried it and it was good, but I didn't feel like it was good for oily skin during the summer. And I was actually supposed to try it during the winter and I didn't. So as soon as I saw this, I had to absolutely, freaking lutely absolutely, freaking lutely I had to get it and try it because I was just waiting for them to come up with a matte foundation. Mm, my mouth is watery. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a little bit about this foundation. This foundation claims to be with a soft and suede-like finish, Pro Matte Foundation will have you covered and shine free all day. Creamy liquid formula provides smooth and buildable coverage for both day and night time wear, minimizing the appearance of pores and fine lines for an even soft focus effect. Paraben free formula with added vitamin E, B5 and sunflower oil. So this foundation claims to be full coverage, long wearing and blurring pore, uh, blurring fine lines and minimizing pores. Okay. I literally just washed my face. So my pores up here are like super popping right now. Okay. Okay. So this foundation actually comes in, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So this foundation comes in 14 shades. Okay, so the first foundation comes in 16 shades and it also comes with a white foundation for you to mix any of those shades with so you can get like your perfect foundation, right? And with that one, their deepest foundation shade is dark chocolate. And let's see if they have a cappuccino in... I keep seeing something in the corner of my eye. Okay, so in the first series of foundations, they don't have a cappuccino shade, so I can't really reference this to that. Um, but in the first series, their darkest shade is dark cocoa, and their lightest shade is that white lightener that you're supposed to mix with any of those foundations so you can get like your perfect shade. Now, with this one, they came, they came up with literally 14 shades, and I thought, okay, when I was buying it, I thought, that, that their deepest shade, which happens to be cappuccino, which is what I have, was what I needed to buy because look at this picture. It looked like it would match my skin tone like really, really, really perfectly. So I figured the last shade, I might try it and, you know, see what this foundation is all about. So I got that in and this is it. So we're going to try it and see. Fair warning, I have tried this foundation already and yeah just just wait and see i'm gonna go ahead and prime my skin with the ordinary silicone primer okay let's get to this foundation so this is the swatch of the foundation on the back of my hand So when I first got it in, I blended some into my chest to see if it would match my chest. And this is what happened. Okay. I feel like it matches my chest. Um, you can't really see where I blended it into. So my hope was that I could blend it into my face and that it would actually balance, you know, help match everything and I could contour and make it look good. So let's see if we can make this foundation look good. 
Okay, I'm going to blend some into my, and I'm using a Style Master brush to blend this out because I do not like blending my foundations with a beauty blender. I don't want to put this all over my face. Ah, okay, you guys. So, okay. So the question is, how much foundation would I have to put on my face to blend to make this matte? And after I do that, do I use a concealer that's significantly lighter than this foundation to go ahead and conceal my face? Or when I bought this, I was I had hoped that it would work. I'm just going to go ahead and finish with the rest of my face then. I'm going to wait for it to oxidize and then we'll see exactly what happens. Okay, so... Last time I tried a foundation that was significantly lighter than me, I got comments telling me that if I had blended it out and, you know, done a full face, it would look fine. So here we are. This is LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation in the shade Cappuccino. And this is the GLM 684. Oh. This is it. I don't think it's a match for me or anyone darker than my face. I think that if you are my chest shade, if you are the shade of my chest, it might work out for you. If you're darker than me, then the LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation is not for us or for you because clearly this is what that looks like. If I finished my face, I don't think that it would look okay. I feel like I need so much more foundation to cover my actual skin tone let me know what you think do you think this matches my skin tone or not um at this point this is just a foundation shade reference so use me you know what foundations i use um use me to see if this would match your skin tone but i don't think that i can wear this my thing is with la with la girl as much of a hit as their concealers are and the shade range that they have with their concealers you would think that if they were going to come out with a foundation that they would at least try to match it to their to their concealers that way you know people who like their concealers will buy their product because there are people on here that have been using their concealers for years and years you know and they go and do this i mean i honestly believe that maybe sometimes Cosmetic companies do this to get bad publicity, you know, because any kind of publicity is good publicity, right? I mean, as long as people are talking about you and mentioning your name, it's good publicity. Because even though this doesn't match my skin tone, I am very sure that it will match at least one person who comes across my video and that person will turn around and go buy it and use it for themselves. Now you see why I don't match my face to my chest because I would need a ton of foundation to cover my natural skin tone. Like with this foundation, I was really, really hoping that it would match my skin tone. 14 shades and this is the darkest shade that they had. I mean, they will do what they will do, but at least try to make the foundations match the concealers so that people who love the concealers and know their skin tone in the concealers will actually get the corresponding foundation and it would be like an easy match. <sighs> but yeah, that's been my showcase of the LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation in the shade Cappuccino. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope you all subscribe to my channel to see more disasters like this. Thank you, LA Girl, so much. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go. I'll see you guys in my next one. Just remember to subscribe and share my videos with your friends, okay? Bye.